The purge bulb, more commonly called the primer bulb, manually pumps fuel into the carburetor, which purges the air out of the carburetor. Without a functioning purge bulb, you must pull the starter rope multiple times until the carburetor diaphragm can pump enough fuel into the carburetor for the engine to start. Over time, the purge bulb will harden and crack due to its constant exposure with fuel. Once cracked, it will no longer pump fuel into the carb, causing a hard starting engine. Replacing the purge bulb is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi. I'm Mark Sochester. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the airbox cover. Next, I'll remove the air filter. Now remove the two nuts that secure the air box to the carburetor. I'll pull the air box away from the carburetor. I'll use a pair of needle nose pliers to compress the plastic clips that secure the purge bulb to the base. Now I can pull the purge bulb away from the base. Now I can replace the purge bulb. I'll remove the fuel lines one at a time so I don't confuse them. The first line I remove from the short stem and I'll install the new primer bulb using the short stem. Now remove the second fuel line and install it to the longer stem. I'll snap the purge bulb back into the base and I'll reinstall the base back onto the carburetor. And I'll re-secure the base with the nuts. Now I'll reinstall the air filter. I'll slide the air filter over the stem in the center of the air box and index the upper corner with the indexing pin. I'll make sure the filter is sitting firmly against the base. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the air box cover. And now you know how to replace your small engine's purge bulb. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.